revealed. The buildings across Westminster governed by Sharia law, including Admiralty House, once home to members of the royal family and sea lords. Two more public buildings operating under Islamic bond schemes revealed. 18th century Admiralty House and property in Southwark takes total to five. Ministers accused of hiding truth on properties owned by Islamic financiers. Buildings were quietly transferred to finance Sukuk bond scheme in 2014. Admiralty House provided grace and flavor apartment for John Prescott. It is where ex-deputy PM's affair with secretary is believed to have started. A historic building that used to house members of the royal family and sea lords is now governed by Sharia law, Mail Online can reveal. Admiralty House is one of two more public buildings that are revealed today to operate under Islamic law following the revelations that government properties were quietly transferred to finance an Islamic bond scheme in 2014. In addition to two Department of Health buildings and the Department of International Development property on Whitehall, the bond scheme also covers Admiralty House and an unidentified building at 426 Weber Street in Southwark, South London. It takes the total number of government buildings that were transferred to fund the £200 million Islamic finance scheme to five. Under the terms of the lease, the sale of alcohol is one of the activities banned on the premises because they must conform to Sharia law. George Osborne announced the move in June 2014 as part of an effort to make the UK a global hub for Islamic finance. But critics said the scheme would waste money and could undermine Britain's financial and legal systems by imposing Sharia law onto government premises. Due to the Islamic bond scheme, known as Sukuk, the ownership of the leases on the five government buildings have been switched from British taxpayers to wealthy Middle Eastern businessmen and banks. The money raised will be repayable from 2019, but instead of interest, bond buyers will earn rental income from the government offices because interest payments are banned in Sharia law. The Treasury agreed to make the Sukuk fully compliant with the Code of Islamic Law to ensure investors were not put off investing in the scheme, meaning each of the buildings used to finance the products must meet the terms of Sharia law, including the ban on alcohol. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.